right, thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivor Specific 316 or 317 or 318 or whatever it's at. We got Antonio Belpice, Melda Belpice, La Maladonna, and Sir Clarici triumphing over Tiny Bridge. This is going to be a brutal one. So much I have to take down Crystal Cries. In the background, I'm listening to Intercon and Bricky play Halo Combat Evolved. She, for the first time, he is a veteran. They are on the second to last level, Keys, and heading back into the ship Truth and Reconciliation to find Keys. Keys, Keys. Have fun. Anyway, they're shooting Flood. They're shooting Covenant. They're shooting a lot. Oh. oh boy, that's not enough gems for her to come back. Why does she think the Covenant took keys? She literally watches a cutscene where... Hot. And they did, once upon a time. Also, this level is so dangerous, I actually have to move. What? Why are you going after Llama? Really? Oh, this has gone very bad. Oh, this is bad. This is the worst stage for this challenge. Well, at least I'll be done with it for a while after this. Half on the key. Man, these swords are so damaging. Oh, well, Antonio took the bite. Well, there be enough hearts. It doesn't help that there's so much that it gets pushed out by it, too. Man, this is one that's going to be hard. I actually have to concentrate on this. I can be able to respond to what they're doing, other than the fact that she's dead. And Burke is alive. And Iris went deep, deep down the Warhammer 40k rabbit hole and listened to some of Bricky's vids on it. Nito Petrino. Oh my god. This is so bad. Okay, got some back. Need to get the Charmande of Healing. <laughs> Halo 2 is harder than this Matarka. Too bad, you can't get a... Oh boy. Okay, uh, what's controller? Gotta get Charmande, I need those Revive Freeze. Missions are not shorter. Oh my god. Healing. And she just died to a carrier floor. And they're both dead. The thing is, you both died. The ship is in such bad shape. That's why it then gets taken over by humans right after. Good, good, good. Take down the sword. The Cerebonda healing is helping keep everything nice and back, far back. It feels so weird that this stage is 20 minutes, right? But it is. Okay, good. The element, wind elements, and the thunder elements. Why are they thunder elements? <laughs> oh, this bloody starburst. It just takes so much damage from it, and because everything just goes out of bounds so badly. But I'm gonna have to go crystal cries for everyone, unless, like, Queen Sigma shows up. Which she will, because she's in the description. Wipe them all out. 
Oh, so close to the end. So ever increasingly close to the end. And after this is the sheer pain that Mount Moon spell is going to bring. Oh boy. That's DLC stages left only. It's the last of the base game stuff. But we got 10 on Moonspell, 10 on Lake Oskari, and then it's much... Wait, no, is this the end? Yeah, it is. No, it is Mount Moonspell next, and then Abyss Oskari is much lower. Checkpoint, let's go. Get ever closer to the end. Checkpoint confidence, yeah. Now do it on lasso and try and retain any sort of confidence. Oh boy. Man, that Cerebonde is keeping them back good and plenty. Four pulses of it basically makes you nigh and vulnerable, jeez. It also makes it almost impossible to get that bloody Arcana chest. That's not the right door. Go in the right door. Get the one that's glowing white. That indicates it's openable. Yay, points. What? Why is it in the top right? Oh, good grief. She didn't even, it didn't even activate that cry proc. What the heck. Yeah, Silent Old Sanctuary is still helpful. Uh, let's go see using the assault rifle and not the shotgun. Oh, now nah, she hates it. But oh, you're getting ever closer. They haven't even gotten to the hangar bay yet. Or even the worst is still to come here. I can't get anything. Maybe I should grab a switch out of a tract orb, clover for a tract orb. That would be a better idea. At least then I can start grabbing everything. Yes. They're endless, just rush through. Wait for 99 for a subscription? No way, Jose. Oh, hey, a vacuum. Which contributed very little in the way of actual XP here, huh? Alright, almost to the hangar, then it's up the hangar, up the hangar. Straight to Keys. On the bridge. Full health again. The hell? Oh, they're not even in the hangar bay. They're on that like that weird white. How is the wraith fit in here actually? Man, there's like no covenant in the early section here. Uh oh. No piloting those ghosts for some reason. Whoopie doopie. Oh, huh. Uh, wreck that marriage. Let's check through. Okay, so they're going through that weird storage room. I don't even know what to call that. It's got vehicles in it. That's not like vehicle bay. There's like no way for them to go out and well actually now that I think about it, the to the grab lift is a huge door. Alright, eighteen minutes. Let's see. Maybe silent old sanctuary at the start. Could be better. Just to make sure I could take care of things at the start easier. Definitely need a track orb though. There's just too much that just gets pushed outside, and it's crippling. 
being able to do anything, but I got this. Between four characters popping the uh, Crystal Cries, no trouble. Wow, Plasma Grenade right on her. And she manages to dodge it. Nice move, my Tarakon. Nice move. Oh, there's some elites. Yeah, these are just... These are blue and red. The Spec Ops haven't showed up yet. Oh. I never... I didn't remember that right. Oh, aren't things new? Ricky messed up. Oh, why did I do that? God, I didn't get even... Oh, oh man. The other ones are going to have trouble because they don't have empty tome. Half a mil, half a mil, half a mil, 3.2 mil. Good God, do I help Conchetta gets the dang attract orb. All right, we got Crotchy Frito, Conchetta, Pagnola Pavlone, and Domario here. Um, Matar, Bricky is still playing some Halo Combat Evolved in VOD form, because I played this months and months ago. Playing Keys, having some talk from Keys. You gotta hurry up, save Keys. How are you telling Cortana to shut up, Bricky or Meanie? Oh, they're in the hangar bay for sure now. Wait, they're on the second floor. Man, they got there fast, considering they weren't there just a second ago. Okay, yeah. The sign old sanctuary to the start, then get Crystal Cries is the better idea. I can hold out. For most of these groups, anyway. Oh, I have a nightmare group coming up. And you're about to see how bad it can get. Yeah, these are all just blue and red. Huh. Bricky. Brickums. Not doing a lot of damage. Oh, good. Conchetta actually did manage to get the attract orb. A Cody. Oh, man. What a terrible night to have a curse. And Berkey's name is not Cody. Skater bro. Uh. So Cal. I you. That's some Armageddon naming right there. ODK. Okay, but you said called it Kai for some reason. Brickless Cage. Johnny Cage. Evil brother or something. Alright, getting closer and closer. Do that keys, that proto grave mind. Boy are the Would that have been weird if that had finished. Elites. And coming Okay, yeah, that was the right call. Granted I do have more power here. Because I can actually focus my attacks instead of just hoping they go in the right direction. Man, just no levels on this stage. Getting closer. 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 During this time, Keys was set, giving up his memories one by one to the Flood to try and stave it off of all the important information. Doesn't mention that he has a daughter at all. <laughs> Hilarious. Heck, I don't even think he brings up Cat Halsey. Funny thing is, if you didn't read the books, you would have no idea that the two of them knew each other. At all. Otherwise, it's only in... A basically impossible to see notice in Halo Reach. 
the sister of the Spartans. She's younger than any of them. A good chunk. Kill all them flood. Head. The man, this stage feels like it lasts for forever. The fact that I have to keep actually dodging to try and not to. Uh oh, proto gray mind. And find his pipe in one of the tendrils. He originally did infest the Kerrigan, then he becomes super broken. For gameplay purposes, Cyber Demon would toast him. Toaster. Yeah. <laughs> smashy smash that face. They knew each other for like five seconds. Well, I guess Keys knew John for all of his life, incidentally. Yep, he was right there during the Spartan candidate scouting. No boss fights in one. Ew, very squishy. You can see in the new graphics it looks more more like a gray mine. Alright, get some Serafande. And once they open that door, it's spec ops time. It's a good idea to just retreat to it. Well, yeah, don't fight these Flood. Open the door, get the Covenant in the Flood fighting while you hide in a corner like a brave, brave Spartan. Oh, the Grunts are in. Yep, and Spec Ops, they love them grenades. I'm not sure she ever noticed the difference in their coloration. Granted, starting with Reach where it doesn't matter and can complete nonsense. Oh yeah, I'm feel Rod once they know how to party. Makes it kind of baffling how poor the Spec Ops actually performs when they're allies in two, considering they're the beefiest the Covenant have. Are there even any jackals in the Maw? I can't actually remember. Maybe in the Warthog run. He is completely going away. I mean, you can't run. You're just going to run right into all the Spec Ops. You gotta get the Covenant and the Spec Ops fighting. Or heck, throw a billion grenades in. Oh, Bricky, you should turn it around. It hits you because it whipped you. Whipped you good. Do 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 do. Good opinion. And ever closer to November, huh? Every day is a new disaster. Broken. Now. Oh, no, all the spec ops are dead. But things are only going to get more brutal here as they come in. Follow. Covenant. Oh, no. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's supposed to kind of demonstrate the spec ops beating up the flood really well. To give them a buff, most people aren't going to recognize that. This is what they're trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> 
That Spec Ops love their grenades. <laughs> and she did get grenaded. Go down. Still didn't know I have the name. Wow. That's a score boundary. Put him down, get into that banshee, and fly, fly out. Yeah, the Covenant regain control of the ship till the rest of the humans attack and take it back over. Dude, Banshee's flying into the night. And then, the humans blow themselves up because one of them decides the flood are too great to get off the ring. A loss. Blast them, blast them. Back to the pillar of autumn. And they're about to have a break. What perfect timing. Death time. What? I hit quit. Three, she needs to lay off the caffeine. 363, 1.7, 8.8, .8, wow. Horrible. 2.5 mil. Alrighty, it's time for the pain group. Oh, the pain is gonna hurt so badly because I have very little in the way of options when you got Sir Ambro Joe, you know, Toasty, and X Dash. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Like, there's very little in the way of power I have. Wait, Toasty doesn't kill golden eggs. Like, what am I supposed to do here, man? What am I supposed to do here? Alright. Matara and Bricky are on the maw. He is going on a bathroom break. I can't get anything down. Wait, why are you so slow? Your X dash, you're supposed to be somewhat swift. Oh, huh? wait, what? Why would you, how the heck did you teleport like that? Oh, of course, Toasty's, or X dash is the one that gets it. Oh, that's actually helpful. Wait, what? Oh, you do get it. Oh, why is the bridge do such weird things? I can't even skip to the break they're having. Well, I could pause it and then skip. Okay, start, 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 start. What? Who? Wait, is Tifano damaged? Yeah. There's... You're on ring zero four. Honor. Now, or anyone from doing it. Da, da, da. And this time, the autumn is out of nuclear stockpile. So I can get, like, I can actually outpace the damage. Stop swearing! I cannot stand all the swearing. It's... Nice Ambro Joe has a good weapon, and X Dash does have. A track door. Hey, Toasty actually got some health. Man, that's large.
Oh god. I don't know what he's talking about. He wants to bring in Zentraya. Mm-hmm. Oh, Toasty's down. A uh, surprise. Yeah. Oh, my damage is so bad. All right, let's get that Cerebonde boost. It's dangerous, but you gotta take danger sometimes. Okay, and with that... Yeah, okay, good. And normal aura, Logan. Ooh, triple Bible. Or toasty? Really? Okay. Yeah, it's because they weren't all that accommodating for the Xbox. So you gotta make sure you don't get out of bounds and whatnot. Load everything. Hunters verse. Didn't even know the Sentinels were a person of me. They skipped out keys. They have no reason to be near keys. Wait, why does Spark even come here? He has no reason to believe we're actually going to come to the Pillar of Autumn. Oh, toasty damage. 40 health. Toasty's invincible. Actually, I should push more into taking damage. That way... Yeah, this is better. Better, better. Five. I knew him since I was six, haha. -ha. Barely. He didn't, he didn't. Halsey was the one who came up to him. No, it wasn't. No. No. Fall of Reach was released in conjunction with the game. And the chief met him all of once. Otherwise, yeah, Keys was there at the interview, but he never talked to him. Uh-oh. Da -da -da. Oh, the healing boost, it will keep me up. I still don't care, because I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> He's the one who saved Sima Octavius 4. Where's your respect, Bricky? And she died. Hey <laughs> Get owned, though. There, yeah, black armor. At least he knows what the Spec Ops Covenant look like. <laughs> Use that charge on them elite, and you'll start doing it. And I don't have the damage to have sign old sanctuary. I need to get this down. There we go. There we go. Doesn't help that. The pigeons. Or bird's bird. Hmm. Is Maria gonna have more animals or is she gonna. Hmm. Oh, I never got fully healed. My well, stash is fine. Steel rod can. Doesn't help that the fleet spec ops love their grenades. And she got grenaded again. Well, she managed to avoid it. Barely, though. Just barely. We'll see. Your best is good enough, Matara. We will find out. No Spec Ops Jackals, though. I still haven't seen any jackals, not that I've been paying that much attention. 
Oh, Toasty went down. And drown our go, go figure. Oh, I stash. Well, that should be no trouble. Maybe I should just abandon Toasty at all. For pure X dash power. With that much size, he'll just rip through everything. Hey, Toasty took some damage, and I've lost control of which button he is at. Oh, it's Steve Ano. Where is Ambrojo? God, I've completely lost track of what controller is what. Not helped by something really weird going on, and that I actually had to switch out the rechargeable battery pack on my normal controller for one of the other controllers because it wasn't working with it anymore. It's working just fine with the second one. It's not working with controller one, as it were. It's neither the battery or the controller, but when both are combined, there's an issue. Why the skate pod? Wait, no. Wait. Okay, so how is he getting any data off these after the cold protocol was supposed to wipe it? Almost too shocked for words. Twenty four oh one penitent tangent. War runners really like to put out weird things. And then you never get a proper boss play with him. You get the sub monitor of installation seven for some reason. Probably the best boss fight in Infinite. Oh wow, Wave Cannon. Grenade out of nowhere. If you skip this cutscene, then they don't blow up the viewing port glass. But actually, you get the cover for the fight, which is actually really annoying on Legendary, because they will evaporate you immediately. Ah, uh, good. I win. Now I need to make sure I know what these controllers do. Oops. I, I hit A game. Oh, I didn't? What one is red? This the very last controller. Wow, I got these out of order. And we go from the weakest team to the strongest team here. As we got Big Trouser bringing up the front lines with Leda, Cosmo Pavone, and Aerith Gainsborough. This group should have no trouble. To the point that I'm mostly going to be actually paying attention to their stuff instead of trying to play the game. What a weird concept. Playing the game. Also, how did I get the water bottles set up like that? That's weird. Alright. There through the armory next to the bridge. I mean, it's supposed to be an armory, right? When you go to the actual armory later. That's what it looks like. Huh. I don't think it's... Ah, hunters in close quarters combat. Immediate fuel rotted. Yep, Silent Old Sanctuary, and that'll give some good benefit with, uh, you know, Grace Jubilee. Oh yeah, the Sentinels have shields here. Everyone's at war here. Sentinel! Sentinels are really pathetic considering how advanced the formats were. Hey, Cryo Bay. Yes, Cryo B. This is where Linda isn't because they've been ejected. Why 
What's confused you? Oh my god. With explosives. Seen it all. I don't think Brookie knows. I don't know if he knows about the Linda Easter egg here. You switch it to the new graphics, the display port here will show her. Which is weird considering she's not on board anymore, but hey. Also, funny how even when he recovered her, he didn't actually. Chief didn't actually notice. It was her because he was way too busy at the time. What, with a Covenant flagship coming in? Try and kill him? Z z z yep, they will get up. Of course, it'll start getting worse and worse from Halo 2 onwards, where they will start being re fully revived. Boy, is it hard to put down the flood. The only way you have a chance is simply because you have so many... Yep, I gotta go through the space ducks. Yeah, he's not showing off the Linda Easter egg. You might not know about it. That's why you put on the flashlight. It's because it has a battery for some incomprehensible reason. Walked by a hunter and still alive on heroic. You are not surviving a second hit, though. Wow, you nice dodge, Matara. Wow. Lured him into one of those, uh... Little... S wow. Okay, poor dodge on the grenade, but... He managed to get him into, like, one of those, uh... Crew quarter door alcoves. A really nice dodge. Gotta get that crystal cry just in case, so shouldn't need it with this team. And I skipped it, didn't I? Oh well. Slash. It's better than my other option. Oh yeah, slash with the earth. Yeah, that's fine. That's a billion damage right there. Yes. Eight, 180. Crazy. No trouble. But none of them grab the bloody track orb, huh? Back in the day. And of course Lady gets the attack door. Yeah, I'm play sword. Man, all that hunter blood. Narrative gameplay. Feel everything. Getting close. Grenade! Man, you know she's this when she's actually calling out grenades. Uh. Let's see, this corridor leads down to. Ah. Starburst does so much. And I'll do double shot. With this level of damage, it's more effective for survival. That's good. Uh, the heck? Huh. Oh yeah, that's the room. Why would there be less enemies at the end? Lit fees, run away. Didn't get the armory, huh? It's just straight to the... 
straight to the engine room, which makes no sense whatsoever as an actual engine room. Boy, would it be a nightmare to work in here, right? There's so many health packs, huh? Like, seriously, look at this thing. Three layers for the reactor room. Three floors to the reactor room. Can't even get to some without jumping. Wait, you can't get to any of them without jumping. Right? It's all jumping, isn't it? God. See, I want to be even with my criticisms of the game. Games as I go through this. Just so I don't end up being... 100% down on reach compared to a lot of people. And this is an example. Why? Why is it designed like this? Also, how are you so bad at jumping, man? You aren't crouch jumping, dude. Also, one of these is blatantly... What even are these can container things? Yeah, she's getting no momentum to go up. Great shit. Yeah, you didn't go to the armory. Why didn't you go to the armory? There's a rocket launcher in there. Of course, the Spartan weapon locker gets annihilated in the fighting above reach, so no. Half that. Just throw. Throw, 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 throw the grenade at the vent. Or, I think actually if you could shoot it, but just, that's just not going to be, be efficient. Tell her what to do, Bricky. It's not hard. Say, throw grenade at vent. Blow grenade up. It's not hard. Oh, I'm being such a jerk to people who will never, ever get any notice of this whatsoever. Stream it. This isn't even a one... No, no, two is longer than Combat Evolved. Well, Infinite's probably longer than the Raz 2. Oh, you went back to the armory, dude. Yeah. Armory, right next to the engine room, as you do. And then, Invisible Flood attack you. And she's about to get... Not rated whatsoever. Also, incidentally, there's a bunch of random human blood stains around the ship with no human bodies. Funny that. Not even just like Easter egg blood, like over in one of the cryo bays. Platforming. That's a poor platforming game. Oh, hey, Atomic Torpedo. So still, I took so much damage. I lost so much just because I was a moon because I didn't need to. Crazy. Uh... Blow the arrow, blow up the arrow. Can you shoot it from below? And maybe at the right angle. Yep. The Pillar of Autumn had new experimental super reactors. It actually made it extraordinarily good. Best in the fleet. Back in the original release of Fall of Reach, UNSC ships actually use rotation for artificial gravity. Pillar Arm was the first ship that didn't have that. But then that got changed. 1.2, 3.8, 5 million. Go Gainsborough. Alright, and yes, despite the fact that I have Queen Sigma on the ballot here, I'm saying this isn't going to be the easiest group. It's going to be the second easiest, but, well, when I have what I just had, no trouble there. But still, this will be pretty simple. And I can take my hands off the controller once again. 
Why did I switch? I know where Crystal Prize is. Anyway, Matara and Bricky are in the mall, the final level of Halo Comet Evolve. And they are blowing up some fusion generators at the Pillar of Autumn. Should be finished with that, and at the very worst, the next segment will move on to, well, the end of Comet Evolve. The Warthog run at worst. Bricky is managing to blow up those reactors with that rocket launcher. The most nonsensical engine room of all time. Reactor room. Yep. Oh. Okay, good. Eleanor did grab all of them. Alright, yeah, this would be no trouble. I can just move left and right. Bricky's just gonna teleport her. I mean, the countdown timer doesn't start. <laughs> no, there are other routes. Just didn't bother looking for them. But you can't make it up to the... One of the jumps to make it up to the reactor on coupling panels. Well, that's fine to be on Sigma. Where is he gone? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, follow the orange marker. Get to that elevator. And the final twist. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Why is Perky not talking? Oh. There we go. Oh boy, this is nonsense. Trying to reach Antreya. Didn't tell her. And then she left. I don't. This is so strange. And then the engine, the reactor room just has an elevator up to the inexplicably longer than the actual ship run at the top. Like, why is so much of the ship apparently just so randomly open the vacuum? This is so weird. Are they even... Is that the... What? Where are you? Oh yeah, there's the elevator. And there goes Zuka Zamni. There. That was the elite. Uh oh. Wait, why did Cortana want to go to escape pod first before Faux Hammer? Look at all them lasers from the Queen Sigma. Amazing. Alrighty, Lord Hogan. Go, go, go. Up the uh, ridiculously high slope. It's just so you can't. No, Zantara's in Texas? That doesn't make sense. Well, I suppose the roaches would do well in Texas. Oh, hey, a Pumrola. Oh, they are not making it through the Warthog run at all. One point seven kilometers. In theory, the chief should be able to run that in like five seconds because he very fast. Oh, hey, a Tama torpedo again. 
Spartans are actually faster than Warthogs, but they never do it for gameplay balances. Also, they should be able to crush everything but elites and brutes and... Well... Go! Was the Wow, so much. Well, what? Might as well get Twilight Explosion or Twilight Requiem. Also, she didn't know you used mouse to actually drive. He was only using Waz. Dear God. That explains so much. I mean, they're not going to make it still, but hey. Queen. Queen Sigma. Nope. Got to go around. You got no time whatsoever. Ah, uh, only halfway there to the first point. And you lost half the minute. Half the time. Ooh, Godai shuffle. They're gonna get Godai gone. As far as the eye can see. One will survive, it only one will be Let's show down. Ultimate destiny. Wonder who will be is the ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. Fire all the laser beams. Destroy them all. Destroy them all. Warhammer. Oh, hey, Zentre is in the call now. Just to chide him for one line and leave. Wait, is there... Is the timer being covered up by something? Stop, stop. And she did not stop to see Faux Hammer get destroyed. And Faux Hammer dies. What is going on? Yes. No, no, lie to her. Say that by not stopping you killed Faux Hammer. Oh, you had the perfect time to chide her. Itch with your mind, Matara. Itch your nose with your mind. Random, inexplicable. It's a pillar in the Pillar of Autumn. <laughs> ah, indulge in that poison. And now the giant jump, which she's somehow going to mess up. Nope. Flipping time. One minute, and that final run is like 20 seconds there, dude. I'm not actually sure what happens if you manage to time yourself out. I don't think I've ever failed on intentionally. Well, outside death. Through the fire and the flames, they carry on. You don't. You hop off and run. Then the best idea is actually just not to go through the middle. It's just to go through the side where you're not attacked by everything under the sun. Why was that so huge? The heck is going on now? 
Hey, got the short sword, which is in the most inexplicable spot of all. Hey, they won. First try. Amazing. It's going on, game. Oh, oh, it's that same thing that happened with... Yeah, okay, I mentioned this before. This actually happened with many on Astral Stare for our last wave. You have Sapphire Cries, and it activates it like the same time someone goes Megalo. Then it can cause things to freeze up like this. There was a glitch already ported in the Discord. And thus did all the flood in the ring die, and I win. I win. Uh, reckon. 11.6, 7.0, 14.4 more. Wow, that was a lot of damage for this group. All right, second to last, we've got Maruto Cuts, Roommate Dino, Guardian Pina, and Brownie. In the background, Matar Khan and Bricky playing some Halo 2 Anniversary Edition. Starting it up, the campaign starts in the runes of Halo. They're Alpha Halo. High Charity, the Covenant's Holy City has arrived. Better be using those Maniversary graphics. They're too good not to. Mm -hmm. Covenant ships. These are the new graphics. These are the new graphics. Oh god, how? The Darth Star. Good grief, we are too old not to know Star Wars. Ah, uh, the Pillar of Autumn. Man, the subtitles are completely desynced from the uh, graphics. It's so bad. Grief Brownie. Fireflying ships. Oh! I also forgot to mention the reason that the Covenant just didn't annihilate the Truth and Reconciliation is that there was a minor prophet on board and they weren't going to kill him. Prophets have a very limited population and losing any of them was a bad idea. Oh, this stupid sword. Good. Good grief, those sword. I know I have Silent Old Sanctuary 2 to pump it up. Those all. All the minor prophets in the stands that you'll never see again, and all the counselors with their giant ornate headpieces. Oh, and I got Laurel, too. That makes it even worse. Jeez. Roots. First time in the game. You shall not... Oh, boy. Wait, no. I can just sacrifice one. And then blow it up. There we go. Wait, the hell? It gets rid of the... Why? No, there it is. What happened? Did it get not... Hey, it's time for Sergeant... What's his name? Oh, yeah, that took Covenant. Time for one of the liners galore. Now I can heal. You will never see the Chief's face. And most his eyes. Alright, the armor. Uh, no, you need to do it just so you can see Johnson. He was asking if there was any cutscenes they needed, and you do need it. Oh, why are you spoiling Johnson?
Yeah, this is just the tutorial you skip. Alright, or Halo 2. Not Halo come at all. This voice by the same guy who does stacker. And then the Mark VI will become his iconic suit for the rest of the series. Mark V was in, in use for like five minutes. Mark VII basically doesn't exist. And the Mark IV was in use for like 20 years. Oh hey, I broke out of bounds. That's odd. No more health bar. All of our generating health now. And it's over in the left hand corner. Johnson's invincible, so that makes it. Uh... Yep. Right, only because they like the voice actor. Eric Nyland did good work somehow giving this an answer. And then they got that announcement about him being a Spartan one. Go figure. That's all you're ever going to get. And a resurgent. Lord Hood. Let's see the Lord of Who Knows. I had grief. So much. Here we go. Ooh. And Johnson's basic was a long time ago. Johnson is pretty old. He's well into his 50s. Go look at the orbital grid. Makes it very confusing how that, like, Covenant fleet of, like, five ships somehow manages to get past when you got a bunch of super mat cans that can annihilate a Covenant ship in one shot. Duh. Now, now quit. Now, now quit. Tell her, tell her to quit. There we go. Yeah. Funny, because that the starting missions actually count towards any achievements for being the whole campaign with difficulty, so you need to do them in the higher ones. And ads. There were for some reason no ads at back in the last vlog. Yay, they are invited. Uh, Rose Station. Ooh. Where does my chest keep going? Why would you get attacked by Covenant? That's no, just silly. Mat cans weren't even named and Combat Evolved, it was just the main cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Best topic. Not seen him. Heroes for why? Blowing up a. Well, I guess two more Covenant fleets to his name. God, he's blown up so many Covenant ships. Probably legitimately will destroy more Covenant ships than the entire UNSC fleet. Heretic. Oh, I have the grunts jumping on top of each other. High Covenant, very, or High Charity, very big. 
Why? He literally just committed genocide for decades. What, why are they calling him Arbiter? Why are they calling him Arbiter? I know he's not named in any of the games, but... I don't know. He's a, named in the Terminals for Anniversary, actually. I could have just named him Admiral or Zealot. Nord Hood. Fancy Brown. Oh, no. Ron Perlman. Dang it. I'm awful. Cortana is blue. Much better than the Reach Cortana. <laughs> uh. Poor stacker and chips to go to and get anything. Rip off that armor. And keys his daughter somehow. No, it's in his award. One of the best. In the old graphic, it's actually really hard to tell that he has, you know, pants on. Arbiter. Are these scenes? The mark of shame. It took me so many years to realize Keith David voiced the Arbiter. Only 15 ships. 2.6. Wait a minute. Harper. Then he falls into a plot hole. Those were numbers, and this is the end. Okay, and the final group is led by Sheena Atsarandi, Probotector, Sammy, and Shapeshifter Nino, because those two are the last two. Listen to Bricky and Matarkhan play Halo 2, and I don't want to fight this, so I'm just letting this. Also, the fleet that destroyed Reach was not... Actually, no, it was about 450 ships. Huh. Also, the defense fleet for Earth has less than 100 ships left. That's less than reach. It's real bad. You skipped the end of the cutscene. Yes. Yes, you did. It is absolutely the end. Oh, was it? Oh, that's in the legendary and was blatantly not canon, even at that point. Okay, now get double SMG and never use it because it's terrible. I don't care about you ad blocker being advertised on YouTube in an ad. Kill everything. Oh, you can't run in Halo. You couldn't run in Halo. Bye. He muted. Huh. Why are you shooting the Marines? Yeah.
Run in, run in. If you let them spawn, then that means they'll start spawning in way more than they were if you just run through. No, oh, there isn't any running. God, the sprint was so terrible in reach. Yeah, use that duo we and kill them all, Matar. First combat section dealt with. Also, Johnson somehow got knocked off his turret. Weird. Reload. Grenades there for later. No scum, I got pinned between two groups of Marines. Yes, the buttons that are on the screen. And then they remove dual wielding because balance. I don't need to turn myself off this game at all. And that guarantees the win. Wait, what the hell? Why did I switch to Sierra Bonde? I hit Rondo. Ugh. Okay. Well, I suppose that should show the sheer strength of Sammy that even with that nonsense, me doing it on accident, I'm still fine. Go settings. Go settings. Kill bug. Or, yeah, kill bug. Kill Matara, Bricky. Kill her. Kill her in the past. Brainwaves. Double plasma super blast. Oh, damn it. Kill Pug. Look through that shield. Wow, dead. Huh, why are those things just creating a death circle? All shield. No, you got deleted. He didn't even die. You still have your plasma samples. Red elites. So many red elites on the starting mission. No. No, the HP is actually high. There's no bar and it auto regenerates. No pips, I should say. Do, 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 do. No one else is killing you. That's why you're looking for a husbando. Shoot them Covenant. Now once upon a time I had someone say that the first Lanny Bay was the hard one on Legendary and just like, what are you talking about man? The second one's the nightmare. First one you just throw some grenades. Alright, now I get Rondo and win. I want a candy box too, cause why not? Oh, disco of gold. Er, they don't life sign scan, I guess. Them Sammy levels. Not getting the BFC anymore. Tractor over the play. Now look out the window. And she ignored the Malta blowing up. Weirdly, you can't see the other orbital platform defenses out there. You know, anniversary. Oh, 
Four arms. Oh, nice ambush point on them elites. Hee hee, hee hee. Plasma grenaded. More Marines. Hangar Bay 2. And a nav. And an ad skip. Shoot, shoot. No jackals here. Just grunts and leets. It's the last major population center of humanity. Throw them grenades. Win, win, win. Oh yeah, what even are these ships the Covenant are using? I don't think they're ever named. Bye bye Athens. Like the sheer speed at which the bombs went off means not only do they plow through the defense with no trouble. Also that there's no way any of the Covenant that got on the station could have left in time. Alright, underneath the gunnery sergeant. Funny enough, he and the elites up above are incredibly, absolutely invincible till you cross the threshold that causes him to die immediately. Kill him. And you'll die yourself. Oh man. Wait, what the heck is that? Shotgun. On the first level? Just to see how much worse it is. Why is random gunnery sergeant? Ed Mjolnir parts, who knows? Happy Tat Delta. Alright, because I have Rondo too. Er, no, because I have Sarabande. I'm double invincible. Options quit. And that ends Tiny Bridge. It has been triumphed over 2.1, 5.4, 18.3, 19.3, because you ate a lot of stuff with that. And we have triumphed over Tiny Bridge in Vampire Survivors Beswick. 316, I think. That's 1,794 stages done, 161 to go. It's back on the real pain train with Mount Moonspell and Lake Foskari back to back, 10 each. God, that's going to be like a three hour video. Then it slows down with some Abyss Foskari at 8. Watch it dropping after that. And then eventually we're done. And we start again with the Castlevania DLC on the same day I beat it. Go figure. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Please like, dislike, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and thank you if you have. Either way, have a good day, and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.